Hickok 45 here. I think in the original video with this, which I'll link to in the description, the uh, 224 Valkyrie, the uh, Savage MSR 15 224 Valkyrie, I said something about probably doing a range two with it. It's kind of a why not? Because it, it it's a good shooter, you know? And of course, again, the distance here, 80, 90 yards is not uh, testing the Valkyrie round really, but uh, you know, it's a nice AR-15, great trigger and a good round for much longer distance, right? At least they say. So it ought to be sufficient for this distance, if I can hold steady, of course. Most people shoot this kind of stuff. They do it off a of bench rest, of course. But uh, I just don't like bench resting. I like resting. And I like benches, okay. But I uh, just don't like the combination of bench resting, I guess. All right, let's, uh, let's go over there. I think the sight, I got the sight on, I put this Romeo uh, you know, 5 on there, and it makes you just a hair of the right, but other than that, it's, it's pretty close. All right. All right, let's, let's pop them. I might uh, shoot faster than I should today. Uh, you know, I'm just, I'm just in the mood to go ahead and get it done. I've got an AR-15, semi-automatic rifle, right? All right, red plate. Boom. Move right down below it. Oh, to the right. There we go. Come on now, I was on a roll. I think maybe I wasn't breathing. All right, let's take that out. There we go. All right, two liter on the left down here. All right, little cinder. And a red plate. Oh, two left. All right. And these three guys right here. <laughs> and one on the red plate over there to finish it up. Boom. All right. I had a few rounds left. Guess what? We can never quit with rounds in the firearm. So... Well, let's just go over there and hit the red plates so. on. Yeah, popping with the last one. Okay. So, anyway. Uh, yeah, I don't know. just in the mood to shoot fast. When you got a red dot, low recoiling rifle, really nice trigger and everything, you just want to shoot. Okay. Uh, now, if I had gotten into some really bad missing strings, I would have slowed slowed up a bit. But so anyway, a little range two action. Might have set a record on time if I don't talk too long, right, on the range two video. But uh, fun, and uh, I, I've enjoyed shooting this this rifle. I again haven't gotten the most out of the, the Valkyrie round, of course. Uh, but uh, let others do that. It's a neat little round. Don't know if I'll see a need to own one myself one day or not. Uh, time will tell how how popular it becomes. Not that I'm going to buy one because it's popular. All right, uh, I'm not a hipster, but uh, I don't look for you know opportunities to go the other way on things just because something's popular. But uh, but anyway, I'm not going to buy it just because it's popular. The uh, there is an advantage to a popular round, of course, like the 556. Five, Why is so many people get a 556 five, rifle, magazines, ammo? because it's so popular and it's a good round. So it obviously makes the ammo less expensive. Anything the military has adopted, there's more of it, more of it produced and that kind of thing. So there is something to be said for popularity, right? If it's quality also. So anyway, the Valkyrie, uh, a fun round. And if you shoot it a lot or you have a lot of experience with it, as I think I said in the, the first video, which I'll link to, uh, you know, share your experience with this round.
or, or even this rifle, but uh, but that round, the, the 224 Valkyrie. A lot of folks maybe are are uh, perplexed that they're not familiar with it until until you know recently or something, and and would like to know more about it. So uh, share your opinions of it, what you think about it, and uh, where it shines, where it fits in the great scheme of the shooting world. So appreciate your support and. Uh, and your support of uh, the people that support us. Appreciate you Gong Club members over there on the Patreon account. Uh, we just appreciate everybody watching. So I'm glad you came out here tonight and uh, the humidity and everything. I know you probably got a lot of sweat on you as well, but uh, I enjoyed it. Life is good.